advised Kilo 33 and Kilo 34, your current LZ is too hot. Roger that. Dot, stand by to receive and respond. Yes, Commander. Coordinates received. Initiate immediate course correction. The Office of Naval Intelligence Sword Base is presently under siege from a Corvette class Covenant vessel. Due to the sensitive nature of this facility, use of orbital rounds has been for the moment prohibited. Regrettably, my efforts to obtain relevant data on enemy forces have been unsuccessful. However, current defensive forces are insufficient. Oni has requested Team Noble's direct intervention to help secure Sword Base. All right, people. We're stuck with that ship for the time being. Let's focus on the hostile infantry. Give those troopers a hand. Cat 6, you're out here. George Emil, you're next. Get prepped. Let's move, Lieutenant. All right, so first things first, just immediately run over here. Go ahead and get yourself in the cover. As these four grunts come on through, immediately take them out. Up here will be two jackals. Now you have a nice little perch, start taking off enemies one by one. Or they can just come to you. You've got enemy contact, Spartan. Thank you, teammate. Huh. Obviously, you can see sniper rifle up here. I switched out the assault rifle. My, my shots were not connecting there. There we go. Went to many shots. I do not know why. So you have four rounds left, and one be very conservative. What we're going to be doing is real quick taking this point here. Okay, which one does not do more? Just take you with a shotgun. Now you're gonna be seeing me switch off guns to marines quite often, and that's because of the fact that marines have unlimited ammo with these guns, so it's infinitely gonna be like four times better. But we'll prioritize whatever you need, ma'am. So, we're gonna put it here, we'll rift cover. The so rocket launcher right up there, we'll be using that later on. Fire for effect. They are elite if you can, but don't stress about it. Unless the elite comes on to you, then stress about it. Obviously, there's still another wraith left, so what are we gonna do about that? Grenades and our target locator is not being the best. Uh, I'm mob out wasted. Unfortunately, they lost a turret man. So, one in down, just punch the shit out of it. Don't know why I just got negative 50 points there, but that's not important. Once that's done, you're going to drop your DMR here, pick up the rocket launcher. Now this is a strategy credited to Hokey Bird. Uh, this is basically Proto Rocket Hog. So cool. Which one of these? Want to hand that to them? Run back up here to nab the DMR, and immediately bolt back down here. That happens. There you go. And what you want to do is you want to have the Marine Trooper inside the war. The old Farragut Station shotgun. has its own comms array. That should bring us back online with command. The Airview base has an anti-air battery that will help us. AA gun is to the west. Comms array to the east. That's wrong.
Now, unfortunately, Rocket Hog Marines uh, AI are way more efficient in Halo 3 and higher difficulties, so you're going to see them act pretty Focus dumb for the time being. Generator. But that's not the big point here. Let's search the area for a generator. Over here. So I was trying to locate the Revenant there. Yeah, case in mind, something like that where a rocket launcher marine had a clear shot but did absolutely jack anything. That's what I mean by that. Although that was a remarkably well done shot. So that took out majority, if not every single person in there, which is great. Help back there. There's the generator. Now, my original game plan was to go ahead and utilize the target locator on the Revenant and just get it over okay. with. But seeing how that didn't happen, uh, we basically have a free target locator, but we're going to keep hold of it. No. Drop it. Spirit boots thing. And basically what we want to do here is just try to take as many as we can while we're not dying and not killing up. Oh, we do get a fresh hog after this section. Uh, it's better just to go and utilize the one hog we have. I'm going to move you closer. So I'm under fears that cat will run in. going to hop on in so it screws over. Switch out for the other rocket launcher. Ignore whoever shot you. I've got to be fast about this because I'm going to die under here. That. Nope. They didn't even move an inch. That's remarkably very good. to the air view base. And this is where the Rocket Marine is really going to come into play for a transition segment. Because we have the two. You know what? I'm okay with that. We need for that to happen. Ow. Jesus. Spear is going to come in and drop the elite. It's no big deal. And since I am playing on MCC, that means we have challenges as well, so that's what you're going to see. Uh, the transition segment is over, so on to the main event. I can't ignore the marine. Obliged. Obviously, one well, is ultra right up there. Now, typically, what you can do is with rocket. You're a skilled player. At the very least, have the same amount of luck. Don't do what I'm doing. Typically, what you can try and do is you can attempt to take out the Ultra from here. Case in point. There we go. Then we also have these two guys. So the ghost eliminated the ultra down. I'm with you, Real easy. Just run on up. I'm not gonna worry about ammo right now because that's not an issue. 
Now then, this is another important side section. So first things first. He's one points. Gun down. That's the point. This is where the main transition comes in. Now what you want to do is you want to hand off this to the rocket launcher to get him out. And load up here. So we are essentially abandoning Cat for the time being, but that's perfectly alright because we have a Goss Hog and a Rocket Launcher. So we essentially have a Goss Rocket Hog. There we go. And this is why, because again, these are the most, two most powerful human-based weapons for the time being that are very quick to just drive through all this. Completely take him out. Plus, having two marines with rocket launchers is also going to be a great benefit in that section. I don't know why the marine saw it necessary to shoot the corpse of an elite, but that's perfectly all right. So I'm not going to try and do the elite thing, like the uh, Goss Hog Breakthrough. That's just not necessary to me, but I am going to take the shotgun. What I am also going to do is arm Goss Cannon and just start going. That's what we can get for the time being. Because the others all fell back to cover. I believe I missed the bob here, but that's perfectly alright. Now the hunter section. The hunter's attention. That's a plasma grenade. Now what I am essentially just going to be doing here is I'm going to let the marines do some of the work for me. Because there we go. There are double rocket launchers. Did more than enough. That's the last one. There we go. Now we're just basically hang back and cover. There's a health pack up here. I will desperately. Now if you want, you can take the rock launchers, I'm personally not going to. Because I have no reason. But what you want to do mainly in that section is get as many rocket launchers to that room as you can, and if one of your marines dies, that's perfectly right. Pick up the rocket launcher from his body and use that instead. Where's our orbital support? Got to be four platforms that could take it out with a single map round. Alright, so what you want to do is we'll move over this way. I really take out the elite officer there. Passing on. Oh, jackals. Of course, typically when jackals pass. I'm just gonna follow George for a little bit. Let's do this. Right behind you. Come on, buddy. Turn up here. There should be a series of prints. There we go. Just keep taking them out with headshots. Six, get to the top floor and assist the meal. <laughs> I could have used DMR there, but I chose not to for the sake of conserving ammo.
should be right there. So yeah, just for that segment, just get up close and personal. Do what you can. Rock launcher. First mission should be pretty trivial. Just be on the lookout for those active camo elites. They will spawn in and they will make the Alright, so obviously they've now spawned in. Unfortunately, George got in my way there, which is really upsetting. You should basically help a meal out. Standing by to take the shot. Beautiful, ain't it? Someone should take a picture. After we found your scientist's daughter, Mom. She was hiding in the Irrelevant. Air. The elites. Tell me more about them. Three. Zealot class. One got bias. The leader, from the looks of him. Zealots. You're certain? Their armor configuration matched. Shield strength, too. I gave the order not to pursue. Our primary objective was to get the station's relay back online. Your primary objective? Commander, are you a puppet or a Spartan? Ma'am? There are those at Oni, myself included, who believe the Covenant dispatch elite advanced teams to hunt down artifacts of value to their religion. Survivor accounts suggests such teams are small, nimble, and almost always zealot class. No doubt they came to the station for the abundance of Oni excavation data stored there. And you let them get away. Data retrieval was not a command directive. Even had we known, we had other more urgent matters to attend to. Like warning the planet. Professor Sorvad's final entry in his field notes made reference to a latchkey discovery. Latchkey. Not a word he would use lightly. So let's hope that the data module your lieutenant commander stole contains it. Cat. Before you ask, I was alerted the moment you attempted to access its contents, as I am with any unauthorized tap. That data is classified Tier 1. I could send you to the brig for interfering with my work. Maybe you'd like to join her. I'm sorry? We're currently under emergency planetary directive. Winter contingency? I'm sure you're familiar with the punishment for civilian interference with the Spartan deployment. Are you threatening me, Commander? Just making a reading suggestion, ma'am. Let's move, noble team. Mom? That will be all, George. 